my channel. Today we are going to get into a foundation review. So many of you guys have reached out to me since this foundation blew up asking me to review it. This foundation blew up so fast on TikTok. It's sold out everywhere. It's absolutely mind-blowing how much hype there is behind this foundation. Fortunately for me, my friend Gabe from Gabe Loves Makeup, he just started his own YouTube channel. He's been in the industry for 25 plus years, is so knowledgeable in the beauty industry, and he and I became quick and fast friends. And he reached out to me and said, Terry, you've got to pick up this foundation. You're going to love it. This was before the hype blew up on TikTok. And I was like, oh, really? I'm so curious. I was not even, this was not even on my radar. I'm not even going to lie. It was not on my radar. And he was like, you've got to try it. You've got to try it. So I went ahead on the Sephora website, picked it up. And the very next day, my daughter had messaged me and said, mom, have you ever heard of the KVD Apple Bomb Foundation? And I was like, yeah, I actually picked it up yesterday. And she's like, it's sold out. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> and sure enough, she was right. She's like, it's blew up on TikTok. Now I have a TikTok account, but y'all, I don't get on TikTok that much. Like, I don't get on TikTok hardly at all. It's crazy how quickly things like that become a trend and it's sold out everywhere. So I've been testing it for five days now. Today is my fifth day testing it. I have a lot to say about this little balm foundation that has blown up TikTok. And before we do, up here on the screen is my age, and my skin type, if you're new to my channel, I want my viewers to know what my skin type is and what I look for and what I like in foundations. I always think it's very important for the audience to really understand what the person that's talking about this foundation likes and looks for when reviewing foundations. And as for the shade reference, I will leave a full list in the description box down below. I have popular foundations out on the market and what shades I wear in those foundations. So you can use it as a guide when this bugger comes back into stock. Let's go ahead and get into the details about this, you guys. So this retails for $38, comes in 40 different shades. So the Good Apple Foundation Balm gives you fast, lightweight, full coverage with a fresh matte finish. All of that is absolutely true. It is not flat, not dewy, it's just right. It's skin that looks like skin. A high performance, lightweight, get one and done, buildable full coverage that lasts all day and feels like you're not even wearing foundation quickly covers blemishes, discoloration for an instant confidence boost. It's flashback free, non-cakey, and it'll last all day. All of that is very true, except for the cakey. Now, let me tell you something. Of course, you guys know, I usually get into my full thoughts at the end, which I will, but I have to put this out right now as a disclaimer. Do not use very much of this foundation. If you do, it will be so cakey and gross. It is not a pretty look, y'all. I legitimately, I go in one time with my brush. I go in like this and I use that much, one dab all over the face. And any places that I need to build coverage, I will go in for a second time, but I will tap off and then I will go in where I want coverage. Because if you use too much of this, it is way too thick and heavy and cakey. So my favorite way to apply this is with a brush and then going over it with a sponge to really press it into the skin. Because then if you're using the sponge to press it into the skin, the sponge will pick up any extra that's sitting on top. You do not want too much of this foundation on your skin. I cannot stress that enough. It is not a pretty sight if you get too much. But if you do not apply a lot, because you don't need a lot, you get full coverage. If you apply the right amount, it's really beautiful. So like I said, I've worn it for five days now. We're gonna get into my first impressions of it when I first apply it for the very first time. Then once we get through the application, I do wear this one day without powdering it. So you guys know that I prefer to apply a tiny bit of powder all over my skin just to kind of powder my face down and kind of buff everything in. But I don't use a lot of setting powder, but I do like to dust a light layer over. But I did wear this over the weekend without any powder. I've also d used different primers with it just to get a good feel for it. So I will do a couple of check-ins. I will do a six hour daylight check-in with powder so you can see what it looks like outside. The next check-in, you will see me in my kitchen. And that was the day that I didn't powder it so you guys could see what it looks like without powder. Today, I've applied it right around 9.30, 10 o'clock this morning. 
So tonight I will come back after wearing it for 12 hours and zoom you guys in so you can see what it looks like 12 hours later. And then, then I will give you my full final thoughts on it. I don't feel like this is going to be for everyone. So when I get into my final thoughts, I will share with you guys who I feel like this is for and who I feel like this might be problematic for. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the application, the check-ins, the swatches. Yes, I'm gonna swatch this next to a bunch of other foundations that I have. And then of course we will get into my final thoughts later on this evening. So I will see you guys then. Okay, so let's jump into the review of this new KVD. This is called the Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. I should have bought two shades, but I didn't. I kind of bought it quickly and it's now sold out. Pretty much all the shades are sold out on Sephora. So this is probably gonna match me best in the summer. It is almost summer here, so that's a good thing. Um, but I have no self tan on my face. <laughs> So this is definitely going to be probably a little bit dark and a little bit warm, but that's okay. So I've already prepped my skin with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Uh, and then, of course, I will kind of switch it up throughout the couple of days that I'm testing it, wear it with different primers and stuff like that. But I normally always start it with my primer that I use majority of the time, which is the Magic Cream from Charlotte Tilbury. So, of course, traditionally, I like to do one side of the face with a brush and one side of the face with a sponge. So that's what we're going to do. But when I do use a brush, I always go over it with a sponge and kind of push it into the skin. So just FYI, but I'm going to grab just a tiny bit of it and just see how it builds. You know, I don't want to use too much of it because that's, this is kind of the texture of foundation that you can tell it goes a very long way and you really don't need very much of it. Now, apparently this has blown up on TikTok. I don't really pay attention to TikTok, but my daughter told me about it. She was like, hey, so have you tried that new foundation from KVD? It's all over TikTok. And as soon as I went to look on the Sephora website, I noticed that most of the shades were gone. Holy crap, you guys, this goes so far. And oh my gosh, is it pretty. Woo! Holy smokes. I mean, it's so smooth. What in the world? Wow. I am really surprised by this. Oh my gosh, you guys. My, it, it makes your skin look so smooth. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna grab a little bit with the sponge here and do the sponge on this side. I feel like this foundation probably works best with a brush because of the texture of it. It's so, so lightweight that I feel like a brush just kind of like, like just spreads it evenly, but we're gonna still test it with the sponge and just see how it performs. But it blends out so damn fast. What is this? Is this like magic or what? I cannot believe how pretty this foundation is. Oh my gosh. What is this? Okay, first of all, it applied so fast. Like it like blended into my skin faster than I even imagined, right? Because it's not a liquid. So it kind of just blends right in. And honestly, I really don't need to go over it with a sponge to blend. Holy shit, you guys, this... I gotta compose myself because I have never in my, oh my gosh. Y'all, this is beautiful. I don't know what it is. I don't know how they made it, what they made it with. This is pretty. I'm pretty much done applying it because it blends out by itself. My skin is like smooth. So it smooths the skin out in, in a way that I have actually never seen a foundation do. I was a little bit apprehensive about this foundation because it was a balm. The last balm I tried, I think was from Kevin Aquan. It was terrible. It was so ugly on my skin. It was terrible on my skin. Just peeled away. But this on the other hand, this spreads out so fast. You only need a little bit of this, you guys. Do not go heavy with this 
because you not only get good, you'll, you not only get full coverage, but you get this like smooth skin that is absolutely beautiful. So that's it for the application. My mind's blown. We'll see how it wears. Today is the first day I'm trying it, so we'll see how it wears. And then the next time you guys see me, it will be in my six hour daylight check-in. So I will see you guys then. Okay, so I was actually just going through my footage after filming the intro for this and realized that I don't have a six hour daylight check-in for this. I thought I had filmed one, but I just remembered it was for something else. <laughs> Crazy. So when you wear a foundation for five days, you kind of forget like what you filmed for the video. So right now it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon. So I have had this on, I think since like 9.30, probably 10 o'clock this morning. I'm actually testing out the NARS collection. I don't know which video is going to go up first. Today I powdered it. I'm wearing it with the new Gucci primer. I can't remember what that primer is called, but it was launched with the Gucci foundation. Uh, so I, again, I'm kind of testing it with different primers and, and powder and no powder just to see how it performs overall, because I feel like if a foundation will work with multiple different primers, then it, it's a pretty good foundation, right? So let's go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see what this is looking like let's look on the textured area first overall the the foundation is holding up very well and looks really beautiful especially like in the t-zone area to me it's it's holding up very very well now i did not build up very much of this so you can still see some of my imperfections coming through because it is my experience with this foundation, you don't wanna use very much of it. <laughs> if you do, it is so not a good situation. Um, so anyway, I wanted to just show you guys what this looks like out here in the natural daylight, zoom you guys in really close so you could see exactly how it looks. And the next time you guys see me will be later on this evening and I will get into my full thoughts um, and kind of you know, a few tips and tricks on how to make it work. So let's go ahead and jump into the swatches. I will swatch this shade that I have next to a bunch of other shades that I have in my collection. So you can kind of use it as a guide. And then I will of course get into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. Okay, so I'm here in my kitchen. I seem to be doing this quite often lately in my recent foundation reviews. It is currently 5.30 in the afternoon. So I applied this right around 10.30 this morning. So it's been on for what, seven hours now? And I was looking in the mirror before I come on camera to kind of see, you know, what this is looking like. Now, I this morning I didn't powder it. Uh, the only thing that I put on was the uh, Tatcha Silk Canvas in the liquid form. And then I went ahead and put on the foundation tiny tiny bit of concealer and then i put on the liquid bronzer blush and highlight from Chantecaille, and that was it i didn't put any powder on or anything like that because i wanted to see how this would wear without powder the only thing that i'm noticing currently is i have lost a little bit of it around my nose but not in a bad way i mean here's the thing it's only been on for seven hours so with powder, I didn't notice that. So without powder, it definitely rubs off a little bit more in those areas. This is the place that I will start to lose foundation throughout the day. So that's kind of normal, but seven hours in eh, without powder, it definitely for, for me, based on my experience of wearing it the last two days, today's the third day I've worn it, uh, it, it wears better with powder. But let's go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm standing in, okay, I'm trying to get the right lighting here. You can see where it's kind of wore off right here. It's wore off right along here, but it doesn't look bad. You could just kind of tell that it's wore off, but everywhere else it looks really good. It looks really good over my wrinkles and the texture. And yes, I do have a shine to my skin, but I wouldn't say it's a dewy shine. It's just a shine. Um, so there's a big difference between a shine that's just kind of natural or a dewy, oily shine. And this is definitely not dewy. So I have high hopes for this. I'm curious to see how it will wear without powder, um, you know, for the rest of the day. But so far, it's very beautiful. The only thing that I'm noticing about it is that you have to just be extremely careful not to apply too much. 
I think that is probably the one main thing that I would say people might struggle with this. If you apply too much, it just, it's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> it might get really thick and makeup-y if you apply too much. So today's the third day I've worn it and every single day I make sure to go over with a sponge um, on like the parts that doesn't have any foundation on it, like, a, like on a clean part of the sponge, just to make sure I pick up any extra <laughs> foundation sitting in that area because especially right along here where it's gonna wear more heavy. As the oil starts to kind of come through during the day, those are the places that you're gonna wanna avoid applying too much of this. Um, but so far, so good. All except for losing it right here around the nose. Other than that, I think it looks really good. So that's it for this quick check-in. I will see you guys all in my next check-in. Okay, so I am back to give my final thoughts on this foundation. Right now, it is currently 10 o'clock at night, so I've had it on for 12 hours. Let's go ahead and zoom you guys in. I'm actually gonna turn the ring light off so you guys can just, the ring light just seems to make everything look better, so I'm gonna turn down the ring light, zoom you guys in. So this is actually looking pretty good. Of course, I've lost some of it around my nose, like right here in this area. I'm looking pretty shiny but not dewy, not gross, you know, like I do start to get pretty shiny throughout the day, but even with the shine, it stays intact, which is what I'm looking for. Like I'm not so mad about the shine as long as it stays intact and it's not so shiny that it starts lifting and kind of pulling away from the skin. So the only place that I've lost it is just right here around my nose. Everywhere else, it still looks really good. And along the chin, as the day progresses and as my natural oils start to kind of come through, it gets a little bit less and less makeup -y around here. Um, in fact, I think it looks better around my chin area than it did earlier today. So this actually looks really pretty but you can see this side i haven't really lost much of the coverage at all i didn't go like super full coverage with this because i like to make sure that even though it's got really great coverage i don't want to use a lot right uh but i still think it looks really beautiful it does it just it looks really pretty and every day that i've worn it it always looks like this uh, I think I obviously prefer it with powder. Overall, I think this looks really good 12 hours later. The only place that I'm missing it is right along here around my nose, which is very typical when it comes to foundations and the way that they wear off on my skin. So let me go ahead and get into my final thoughts. I really like this foundation. I really do. In fact, I am probably gonna be reaching for this quite a bit, especially with filming because it gives me such beautiful full coverage and I just love the way that it looks through the camera. Now, I would recommend this for those who have dry, normal combo skin. If you have oily, if you have oily skin, you're gonna have to really be careful with the way that you wear this. You're gonna wanna really put down a good mattifying primer and you're also going to want to kind of hit it full guns with powder. Uh, whatever powder you have that you know will lock those oils down, it's really beautiful. My biggest thing is, you guys, I've said this throughout the entire video, you cannot use very much of this. If you use too much, you will have probably the opposite experience that I did. It's one light, 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 even layer. If you add too much, it just looks thick. Again, this is the 50 I've wore it. I would say the third, second or third day. I can't remember, second or third day. Anyway, doesn't matter. I applied too much and it just looked terrible. Uh, it started kind of like lifting and falling up. I just got a little bit heavy handed, which is the reason why in my kitchen, in that check-in, I told you that 
I go over it with a brush, put a thin, even layer, and then I take a clean spot of the sponge and go over top of it and pick up any extra that might be sitting there that you may not think is there, but as the day goes on, it will be become, it will become more and more, um, apparent that it's there. So that was kind of something that I needed to do just to ensure that I didn't go in that heavy because it did not wear good that day. It just looked terrible. So this can look bad if you use too much. It, it can go bad quickly. Um, but if you don't use very much and you use a very tiny, tiny amount of it, it is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Probably one of the prettiest foundations I have ever applied. I don't think I have anything in my collection that gives me that smooth look to the skin in such a very like flawless way in a full coverage. That's what's amazing about this is that it's not only very smooth, but it's full coverage and you just have to be so extremely careful. So for me, I personally love it, but I always have to make sure that I'm not applying too much. That is my overall biggest advice uh, when it comes to using this. You just have to use just tiny bit, but it looks really beautiful in the wrinkles. It looks really beautiful over texture. You saw my reaction when I first applied this. I don't think I've ever applied something that that blended into the skin so fast. I mean, this is like, I I can apply my foundation within two, three, like two minutes, it's done. Like, it's crazy how quickly this like blends and taps into the skin and you're done. Unbelievable. When I apply it right and I've powdered it, I feel like for me, this is a five out of a five out of a five out of a five. Like, it is so beautiful but I don't think it's gonna work for everyone and I do think that you're gonna have to kind of tweak it to really get to know the product and formula and you can apply it like you would a regular foundation. Less is definitely more with this foundation, but overall I absolutely love it and I can understand the hype behind it and I understand why people have just been blown away by the way that it makes the skin look. Those are my thoughts, you guys. Sound off down below in the comments section. Let us know, have you guys bought this foundation and how are you feeling about it? Share your skin type and your thoughts on it because I'm so curious. I love the shade range. I think the shade range is fabulous. I mean, it's got 40 different shades. It's very affordable. This is gonna last a long time because you don't have to use very much of it. This will last a long time. Like, I can see myself using this for a very long time. Those are my overall thoughts. Sound off down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.